For our second pumpkin recipe, we're going to be making a healthier version of cupcakes. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel. We are a company that is dedicated to supporting you and living your healthiest life possible. And that's why we get together every week in the kitchen and we create these healthy recipes. Today, we're going to be making vegan pumpkin cupcakes. Let's begin by making our flax egg. To five tablespoons of filtered water, we're going to add in two tablespoons of ground flax seed. Give it a good stir and then you're going to set it aside to thicken. It should take about five minutes. You are more than welcome to substitute the flax egg with a chia egg or you can take one banana, mash it up really well and then measure out one cup and use that instead. While our flaxseed egg is thickening up to a large bowl, we're going to add in one cup of canned pumpkin. This is different than the canned pumpkin pie in that that has added sugar and spices. So you're going to have about one cup left over from a 15 ounce can. And you can just cover this up, stick it in the refrigerator. You can use it in smoothies, in pancakes, coffee, even lattes. Next, we have one third cup of melted coconut oil. Now you can substitute this with one third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce if you prefer a lower fat version. For our sweetener, I'm going to add in one half of a cup of pure maple syrup. If you're not vegan, you certainly could substitute this with honey. One quarter cup of orange juice or your favorite unsweetened nut, oat, or hemp milk. For flavor, I have one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Last, we're going to add in our thickened up flax egg or the chia egg or mashed banana. So just give it a nice little stir and you'll see it's thickened up as I pour it in. Whisk together these ingredients until well combined. Now for our spices, you can either use two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice or Ceylon cinnamon one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one half of a teaspoon each of baking soda and either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Whisk together again. Last, I have one and three quarter cup of gluten-free flour. I'm using the Bob's Red Mill one to one, but you're certainly welcome to use your favorite blend. Fold together all of your ingredients until just combined. In a lined or greased muffin tin, scoop out batter evenly into 12 cups. I like to use an ice cream scooper to do this. In a 325 degree preheated oven, bake for about 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean when inserted in the middle. Once your cupcakes have cooled, you can either serve them as is or you can make a simple orange coconut glaze. So I'm going to take one half of a cup of coconut butter, and this is super simple and easy to make, so be sure to tune in next week because that's what we're going to be doing together. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. Last, I'm going to add the zest from one organic orange, which is about one tablespoon worth. Blend up all of your ingredients. Depending on the consistency of your coconut butter, you may want to add a little bit more liquid. So I got one to two tablespoons of orange juice and just add as much as you want to until you get it to just the consistency that you want. I'm going to blend it up again. This actually has more of a frosting consistency rather than a glaze, which surprised me. And I'm finding that it's easier just to use my hands and I'm pressing it onto the cupcake and spreading it around. And just the warmth of your fingers is going to help spread it actually really easily. It's almost like Play-Doh. 
always the moment of truth. I sprinkle with a little bit of cinnamon. I have some without the icing and some with so that I could taste them both. So let's give it a try. I'm first gonna try the one with icing on it. That is so good. I love the pumpkin flavor. And the icing isn't real strong. There's a little bit of an orange hint at the end, but not a whole lot. It's not super sweet, but it's very satisfying. I think you're really going to like it. So I am gonna take a taste of one without the icing just to compare the two. Really good. You really don't need the icing but I prefer the icing. I was also thinking too, you could take some coconut cream that's been hardened in, the, hardened in the refrigerator and blend it up a little bit, maybe add just a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of sweetener, and that would be a nice little topping as well. These are really good, and they're so much better for you than anything you're going to find in the grocery store. I hope you give these a try. Thanks so much for being with me today. Hey, we appreciate you and we love hearing from you. So leave your feedback in the comments section below. Take amazing care of yourself this week and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.